back at my favorite place like I never left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tony vs. The World. Jaden, hit my drop. No, 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 no Tony vs. The World! Alright boys, I'm in my favorite place as usual like I never left. I'm still at the airport. Right now I'm at the Philadelphia airport going back to San Francisco, California. But on the way there, or actually maybe when we get back, I want to talk to you about the benefits of getting executive platinum on American Airlines. I'm going to show you how to get free flights, how to sit in first class every single time, and I don't play first class flights. Of course not. Who does? Anyway, so right now we're going to go on this little trip and I will talk to you when we get there. Let's go. Now we can talk a little bit more about that executive platinum thing I was telling you guys about. So, yeah, I made a video about this before about the benefits of getting executive platinum with American Airlines, but this is going to be a little bit more in depth. I'm going to give you some of the pros, some of the cons of actually um, trying to get executive platinum because it's not easy. And uh, let me just tell you, it's not cheap either. Um, you know, you guys are family, so I'm just going to tell you guys the honest truth. Getting executive platinum is not cheap. It's not cheap, but um, you know, at the end of the day, when you get these perks, it un it ends up paying for itself and becoming uh, more and more enticing the more and more that you travel. If you know what I'm saying. So yeah, one of the pros is obviously first class every single time. Doesn't matter. So most of the flights that are going um, over the United States whether it be JetBlue, United, or uh, American Airlines, whoever it is, the first class cabins aren't full. They're, they're just not, and they haven't been for years. So guess what? Reaching this status, they bump me up every single time. It never fails. I always get a first class seat, and I always get to pick whatever first class seats that I want. Usually I pick the window, and that's how I get some of the great shots that you guys see on my videos. So. That's one of the pros. Um, one of the other ones is I don't pay for baggage. I'm not one of those guys that check bags anyway, but if I did, I could carry seven different bags, whatever I wanted to, and I don't have to check, or I don't have to pay to check anything. Um, I get a, uh, a concierge phone number that I can just call 24 hours a day, and whatever I ask for, they give it to me. And when I say whatever, I'm serious. <laughs> I've asked for all types of crazy things like make sure they have um, a certain kind of apple juice on the flight that I'm flying on. And what do you know, when I get there, better believe that they have it. I'm 100% serious. It sounds like a joke, but no, I'm serious. Any type of wine, any type of drinks that you want, all you have to do is call them number and ask for it. So that's one of the type of perks that they give you once you get to that status so one thing that I'm actually reaching for is something called concierge key concierge key is actually the I guess the invitation only status that's above executive platinum I can't reach it they have to invite me and they don't even have any literature on how to get concierge key but from people that I know that have it you kind of have to spend X amount of dollars throughout the year and you know eventually they'll send you an email and invite you um, I haven't gotten there yet because I'm not rich and you know most of these people that get to that status they spend 50,000 70,000 a year on travel alone and well let me tell you if I'm spending 70,000 on travel alone I'm not I'm not flying commercial <laughs> not at all not a chance Okay, so let's get to some of the cons. And obviously the biggest con is cost. Well, and time. The cost of this, man, you're gonna have to fly a lot to even get to this level. So I'm gonna estimate you're gonna spend at least 
$12,000, $15,000 in flights before you can even get to this level to get all of this stuff. Um, you're gonna have to basically pay your dues. Sitting in the back, you know, sometimes you get first class here and there, but you can't get there without doing the work. So you have to pay your money, spend the time in the air, you know, it's gonna take a lot of your time. And But once you get there, obviously they reward, reward you for being loyal to the company. Um, outside of outside of cost and time and, and effort just trying to get there and, and and stick it with one airline that's one of the hardest things to do because American Airlines doesn't always have the cheapest flights to go where I need to go or where you may, may need to go so if you choose to go on another flight somewhere else to wherever you need to go you're losing that mileage you're news you're losing that that money that you could be putting towards getting that executive platinum but hey sometimes it's not always about the cost but um yeah you're gonna have to do it if you want to reach that level so hey look this is just a real quick one because i wanted to show you guys because People have been asking me throughout my Instagram, my Facebook, hey, how do you fly for free? Or do you just um, pay for all these first class tickets? And no, this is really the answer. Um, I, one thing I forgot, yes, there's a lot of times that I end up flying for free. And I've told you guys about this before. Once you build up that mileage, once you accrue that mileage from flying so much, a lot of these flights end up being free for, for me. And again, it goes back to what I was saying before that American Airlines is not always the cheapest way to go, but if you stick with one company, eventually you'll get that benefit where you can end up flying for free. And uh, that's what I'm doing next month. So I already told you guys about that. I'm not gonna give you any hints, but I will say that this is something different. I'm starting to plan it out. I already got things in motion and you guys are gonna love it. So yeah. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about that and let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and on that note we're going to end this version of Tony versus the world and uh, yeah come back next time we're out